driver and crew of an IRB are the two-person team responsible for launching, operating and retrieving the boat. This series of four videos will show you many of the techniques and procedures they use and will give you a sense of what you will be learning and practicing on your IRB course. In this first video, you will see some of the ways you can prepare and maintain the boat before and after operations. The first thing team members need to do is to sign in and check the IRB's logbook of operations. This will alert you to any issues or problems encountered by the previous operators and what action has been taken to address them. The logbook also has a handy checklist which you can use while conducting a safety inspection and preparing the equipment. As part of a pre-launch safety inspection, a crew person can visually inspect the hull for wear and tear and ensure that any drain holes are plugged securely with a bung. The floor of the boat needs to be well secured and anchored to the hull. The handles, foot straps, ropes and fastening points can be checked to make sure they are well secured, functioning properly and don't have any frayed or sharp edges that could cut people. A capsize rope becomes essential in the event of the boat turning upside down in the water. A crew person can check that the rope is present and securely stowed in its pocket on the hull. It's important to verify that the boat is inflated to the manufacturer's specification. Air is pumped into the boat through valves. In this example there are three valves. One each for the side pontoons and one for the bow section. While each club will have its own system for inflating the boat, hull pressure should be measured by a pressure tester recommended by the manufacturer. The valves need to be clean with the caps securely in place. An IRB's fuel bladder is stored in the bow. It must be secured to the floor at four points by clips that should be facing down. The fuel line can be inspected for cracks and leaks and checked to ensure it passes securely through its loops along the inner edge of the pontoon until it connects cleanly into the motor. Having been immersed in a tub of water with the gear lever in neutral, the engine is primed with fuel and started. The water outflows can then be visually verified to ensure the engine cooling system is working. The crew can check that the IRB has the five pieces of additional equipment it needs to be fully operational. These include a rescue tube, two paddles, a tow rope, a knife and a whistle, which as a matter of personal hygiene is best if it's your own. You'll also need two life jackets sized to fit you and the driver. And finally, don't forget the waterproofed radio. The boat is now ready to be transported to the beach where it will be deployed close to the shore in a zone marked by signs. After patrol or a training session, there are a number of things the team need to do before stowing the IRB away. While hosing down with fresh water, the bung can be removed to allow drainage. The water intake on the motor leg and the prop can be cleaned of sand, and an inspection of the IRB for damage or defects can be done. 
Things to check include the cavitation plate and propeller guard, the pin for the propeller lock nut, and the safety chain holding the motor onto the hull. The motor leg will be placed in a tub of water and the engine will be run in neutral for three to five minutes with the cowling removed. A running engine can be washed with fresh water as long as none gets into the air intake of the carburetor. After the washdown, the engine can be sprayed with a dewatering agent. When the fuel line of a running motor is disconnected, the motor will use what fuel is left in its system and then it will stop. The cowling can be put back on and if refueling has been done, the bladder's fuel line can be threaded back along the inner pontoon, but at this point it's not put into the engine. The IRB is now in a rescue ready state. While the crew and patrol members are stowing the IRB away in the shed, the driver can complete any necessary entries into the logbook of operations. In this video you've seen some of the ways an IRB team can work together to prepare and maintain the boat. We've seen that the crew can take responsibility for checking the hull and washing it down, and also the five pieces of ancillary equipment, the rescue tube, paddles, tow rope, knife and whistle. We've also seen that the motor is checked and run before and after operations and that it is cleaned and sprayed before being stowed in a rescue ready state. The driver and crew of an IRB are the team responsible for operating one of the most valuable tools available to modern lifesavers. By working together to maintain and check the IRB you can ensure it operates in a safe and reliable way that will make your time on the water all the more enjoyable.